Hello, I'm FKX Toycat, and as I'm sure you're all aware by now, the next big Minecraft update is going to be updating the entire Nether Dimension. There's a lot of changes they're making here, and they're fixing a lot of Minecraft's biggest issues, things like not being able to sleep in the Nether, and instead, whenever you try to, making a big explosion. This will be fixed in the Nether update, which is good for some people, and arguably bad for others, but there's lots of other things like this that I feel like Minecraft needs to do, not just to improve the Nether and make it better in the future, but to fix existing design flaws in the Nether that can really easily be done while you're changing the entire dimension anyway. So in today's video I figured I'd run through five big problems that Minecraft's Never Update hasn't yet fixed in the Never, but I'd like to see fixed over the course of the next few snapshots and over the next betas and development, you know, time that is going into it before it comes out later this year. But with that said, let's dive straight into it. And by dive straight into it, I mean ignore this gas and talk about the first big issue, because being able to sleep in beds in the Never is something you'll be able to do after this update. You'll be able to sleep in beds and actually have your spawn point be set there, and that's what I mean by, you know, they've uh, they fixed the fit problem with beds exploding, because you'll be able to sleep there. However, if you can set your spawn point in the nether, then one of Minecraft's kind of big issues will be made even bigger, and that is the issue that you can be trapped in the nether. Let's say this is my one and only nether portal uh, right now. You know, I went through the nether portal, then I sleep in my bed in the nether, and you know, that's uh, you know, a place I can set my spawn. Then what I do is using my fist for some reason, or maybe some you know troll comes into the world, and using their fist, they mine one of these blocks of obsidian, or you know, simulate that. Let's just pretend we mined it for 255 seconds, because I don't have the time to do that right now. I'm sure you don't want to see it. But yeah, let's break that block and then let's throw the obsidian away because, you know, let's just simulate something bad happening. What you can actually do right now by losing that obsidian is lose your ability to go back to the overworld whatsoever. There is no obsidian to be found in the nether and even if there was, I mean, there's no easy source of diamonds. Arguably, you could look for enough nether fortresses. But basically, if you break a single block of obsidian, you're trapped in the nether. And right now, you at least have the clarification that at least you can, you know, you can just kill yourself and then you can break, you know, make another one from the other side. But right now, let's say you you do set your spawn point in the nether, you'll be trapped in the nether permanently, or at least until you break your spawn point, and to me that seems like a serious problem. I'd love to see Minecraft add a source of obsidian to the nether, because sometimes when you are on the nether, you want to make a new portal, uh, and uh, you know, although you can bring obsidian with you, I'd love to see a better way than be like, hey, bring obsidian with you if you want to make new portals, because half of the fun of the nether is the fact that you can uh, travel significant distances with very little gaps between them, you know, by using the nether, because it's 8 to 1 scale of course, being able to actually have obsidian in the nether, whether in natural spawning chests, whether naturally spawning formations, or something along those lines would be really fun. So the first problem is being able to strand yourself in the nether, but the second problem is something that to me is like, you know, arguably just as frustrating, because obviously stranding yourself in the nether is only really possible the first time. Most people don't do it, but the fact that it's theoretically possible is kind of uneasy in a in a way that doesn't feel like it should be possible. But my next problem is one that's a little bit more niche, because let me show you this portal right here. If I use this portal, it will link me to the ice islands, or just below them, if, if, you, if you know my survival world, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know this world, then fun fact, I play a lot of Minecraft. I've built a lot of things, including some floating ice islands. But then if we go over to my iceberg biome, which is about, it's literally 500 blocks or so over here, uh, then you'll spot the problem. Because right now, Minecraft never portals need to be uh, roughly 800 blocks apart on any of the axes, uh, you know, to actually function properly. This means that in the nether, they have to be about 100 blocks apart to function properly. And this means that even though I have two nether portals this far apart, do you see how far I flew? Do you see how long it took me to get from one of these portals to the other one? Um, but that means that even when I go through this portal right here, I'm going to end up at the exact same nether portal I was just in, again, in the Ice Fortress, a, a project I'm working on for reasons that will make sense one day, hopefully. But basically, you can see right there, I go back to the same portal, but then when I go through it again, because I want to get back to that same iceberg biome that I just destroyed, I can't get back there whatsoever, and this means I can have no nether access to that area. Even if I destroy this portal right here, which I'm going to do just, the, just to prove a point, we're going to re remove our portal, it still isn't possible because Minecraft makes these weird nether portal links using some, again, it's a formula that I'm sure exists, but it's unknown to most people, especially because it's varying by platform in different ways based on weird factors. No one really in Thailand understands how portal linking works, and to me, it should be as logical as like, hey, maybe need a gap of like, you know, 50 blocks in the nether, maybe even less than that, 20 blocks in the nether in any direction, and then you can have new ones, because otherwise you have portals this far apart that just can't be linked, because now, even though I've removed that other portal, there should be nowhere for me to, uh, for it to properly connect to. You, what you're going to see happen is, is I spawn in the ice islands, but, oh, sorry, in the ice fortress, and I go for it again, and you know what's gonna happen? Oh, actually, something in, in, in 
something very uh, useful. I spawned up here in the Ice Islands, but you see how it linked me over here still, even though I removed my portal, even if you remove this portal, it's gonna try and spawn you in the same location because Minecraft makes nether portal links that are very hard to fix. It's very annoying in my opinion, but uh, you know, that's just the second issue I'd like to see them fix. Uh, make the, uh, you know, the system much more easy to understand because even, you know, you can understand it to make it workable right now, but at least me, you know, maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, actually, it's really easy to a cat. You just gotta, uh, you know, pull out your calculus book and then do algebraic uh, trigonometric cricket. I'm just saying lots of words right now. Did you know i is the square root of minus one, even though when you multiply negative numbers by each other, you obviously get positive numbers. So the square root of minus one isn't a real number. It's imaginary. Wow, look, I said maths. Am I smart now? Okay, maybe I'm not. But with that said, let's move on to the next thing right here, because uh, the interesting thing right here, if we uh, grab ourselves, uh, you know, like a little stack upwards, um, is that the nether is problematically small, because the overworld of Minecraft has been 256 blocks for the longest time now. This isn't News 21. 256 blocks is what people expect. Some people even are hoping one day to have that go up. It's been hinted by Minecraft developers before. But here's the thing about the nether in Minecraft. At least on the bedrock editions, I know that on the Java, the ceiling's still there, but it's not as fixed, but on the bedrock editions at least, which something that seems ridiculous to me, is the fact that still, to this day, in 2020, you know, it's a it's a new decade, we, we made change happen, but here we are still living in a world where if you go to the ceiling, of, if you go really high into the never, not only does the never not really generate here, which is, I'd say, a problem, a waste of space, but also you hit a bedrock ceiling. There is no way through this bedrock ceiling, and even if there is, and you know, there are occasionally bugs and glitches, you can ender pearl, or you can use bamboo shoots, and I, you know, I've shown off a, I think I've shown off one a long time ago on this channel, and I'm sure you can find a billion more on YouTube, but here's the thing, even if you can break the ceiling or find the perfect spot, and then you can like uh, end up pearl through it, there's still the serious, serious problem of the fact that you can't actually place blocks up there. It says the height limit of the world is 128. What is the deal with that, Minecraft? This is the never, one of Minecraft's three principal dimensions, and for some reason, the height limit is limited to 128. Again, it's not 2012 anymore. We need 256 blocks, and even if you want to keep the bedrock ceiling in place, which I think you shouldn't do, uh, you should make it possible to build up there like it does in the job edition, but I think the way more fun thing to do would be to make, you know, some use of that area, have some gap through the bedrock, because again, to me it makes sense that rather than having this weird ceiling that doesn't make any real sense, because it's meant to kind of simulate that the overworld's up there, you know, the bedrock from the overworld has this below it, but then if there is something up there that you can get to, it just isn't buildable, it defeats the, uh, you know, to me it defeats the whole fun of that, and yeah, that's why I think the never ceiling should be raised above 128, but you know what else I think? I I think that there's only one structure in the never right now, and I think it's not the best structure. So I think that the fourth big issue that Minecraft's never has is that it needs a better never structure. So this is the never fortress, and when it first came to the game, it gave the never a real reason to exist. The never wasn't just this place where you could find glowstone and technically neverack if you wanted eternally burning flames. No, the never was a place where you could find a real exciting structure with a new block and a real purpose towards defeating Minecraft, because of course this is the place where you find the blazes, this dude over here who wants to set me on fire, it's really fun, right? I love, uh, you know, the, the choice break here. But the only issue of this place being so exciting is it was the last structure they added to the nether, and they added it back in 2011. This is one of those long due updates where we need to have at least a second structure because just one brand new structure in the nether, just one brand new thing on anywhere near the scale of the nether fortress would double the number of things you can find in the nether. And, you know, the fact that they could eventually overlap, it adds a lot new, you know, a lot of new possibilities, a lot of new fun to the world generation, and makes each never actually feel different, because let's be honest, right now the never feels the same, and a lot of that's biomes, the new biomes will fix that slightly, but another thing that makes biomes feel unique is the structures, and that's why we need to have some brand new never fortress type thing, um, because I think the never really needs an update. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I feel like just new structures are essential in every part of Minecraft, but most essential in the never where there's literally one, you know? There are there are biomes in the overworld that don't have structures, but at least you can argue, well there are other biomes that have them, in the never there's only one biome right now, and there's going to be four. Across those four biomes, there's still one structure combined, um, maybe two if you count the new types of fossils, but I wouldn't say they're structures personally. They're not things you can go inside, explore, have new mobs. You know, there's no real, uh, you know, things to them. I'd love to see something just as big as this, maybe dedicated to these magma cubes, because right now they're kind of lonely, maybe dedicated to anything else here, but I'd love to see, you know, piglins, but, you know, they're going to get something along those lines, but I want something big, I want something great, 
I want to see some new structures in Minecraft, and we haven't yet seen them in any, any actual snapshots. We've seen them in like development builds, but not yet available to the game. That's something I want to see. That's something I'm excited to see, but not as excited as I am for the idea that they could update the Nether Fortress themselves. So, you know, if we ignore the fact that we need another structure, if we say, you know what, there's just no time to do it, we don't want to add a new structure, we think the Nether Fortress is perfect, then the very least we could do is update the way they go. The fifth and final thing I feel like Minecraft really needs to add is changes to the way Nether Fortresses are right now. There's a lot of cool things to find in a Nether Fortress. You might be like, oh, did you know there's these lava pits, but the lava pit is actually, um, you know, fun fact that it's, it's just one bit of lava that like floats in a really weird way. I only know about these things because I destroyed an entire Nether Fortress by hand. But once you've been to one Nether Fortress, you've been to them all. They're all filled with Nether Brick, Nether Brick Stairs, and Nether Fences, which at the time, Minecraft's design motif was very much, you know, mono block based, like there's the stronghold which is all uh, stone bricks, there's the abandoned mine shafts which is mostly wood, you kind of see that like that was the thing they did at the time, but nowadays we see Minecraft actually have building, you know, design ideas and stuff like that, and I feel like as a result the Nether Fortress could have some spicing up done to it, or at least have a second variant of the Nether Fortress which has some stuff done to it, because it looks really ugly right now, it looks like a really bad thing in the old Nether terrain, and then with the new Nether terrain it looks even more out of date, I feel like it's essential you update the Nether Fortress to make use of these new biomes and the new things coming in the nether because right now it's just kind of lame. I'm not saying you have to go as far as make the map ice, although, you know, I would love that personally because obviously I've done it myself, um, but obviously making the map some new ingredients using red nether warp blocks, uh, blocks, red nether bricks, using any of the new blocks they've just added to make the nether fortresses more exciting places, that's something I would love to see, that's something I need to see, and that's, uh, you know, where I'm going to kind of bring today's video to the close. There is a lot of things Minecraft can do to its nether to improve it. There's lots of ideas that are out there as to how Minecraft could and should improve. I love that the one that they finally took is like, hey, never caving has no point, so they've added Neverite, and I'd love to see if they take on board any of these other suggestions, because here's the deal, Minecraft's Never right now is pretty bland, it's pretty mono- uh, you know, focused. It's got very little uh, going on for it. You, if you want to make the never dimension you want to live in, there's lots of things you need to add. Again, never right's a great example for trading. The beds is a great example for sleeping. The uh, the, the hoglins for food and the uh, the piglins for trade. Um, but also you need to add something to make it worth exploring above the ground as opposed to just below it. And although new biomes might be that for some people, new biomes with new structures and new reasons to go to those is something we need to focus on. And again, I guess it's like that big thing to focus on in any game and in any aspect of life. It's not enough to just do something. You've got to have a reason why you're doing the thing. You've got to have a reason for people to want to be excited and actually use the thing that you're making. And yeah, with that said, I feel like that's a good uh, place to say. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure and you like it and you let me know. Share it if you really liked it. And of course, what you can do is you can subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, uh, you'll see them daily in your homepage. That was very close, so I'm going to leave right now. I'm, I'm currently playing off my Elgato, so there's like a slight frame delay. If you notice I moved weird in this video, that's the reason why. But I hope it wasn't too awful. And if it was, you know, I don't know. Blame the editor. Yeah, it's all the editor's fault. Hashtag blame the editor. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>